it's an unbelievable moment. Um, you know, I mean, we're basically, you know, Baltimore won tonight, and it's and you have to win or you're eliminated. And to be able to come up with five runs in the ninth inning off of Kimbrell and Joe Kelly um, and Tex. I mean, he's had two big home runs in this last week, um, and uh, it's huge. It's it's a great moment for him, and it's a great moment for us. He said that he was going up there just hoping to hit a line drive. When he stepped up in that situation, are you thinking that this could potentially be something special here? Yeah. Um, you know, I've seen him do it for a long time um, in this league and, and a long time for us. Um, and, and we just saw it a few days ago that, you know, he has the ability to do that. And, um, again, it's just a big moment. Kevin. Joe, before the game, you were talking about the young guys learning things. What does a win like this teach them? You, you never stop playing the game. You just never stop. You never know. Uh, we had one hit through eight innings, one hit. Um, and it can happen fast. And, you know, you get take advantage of a couple walks, and um, and all of a sudden you got something going, and you're right back in the game. Mark? Joe, I know they technically clinch a division tonight anyway, but is there something <laughs> rewarding about not seeing them actually celebrating on your field tonight? Well, I don't think – Anytime teams want to see players celebrate on your home field, um, no matter what the situation is, it's, just, it's, it's difficult because it means that, in a sense, that you didn't win your division or you didn't win your playoff round or, or, or whatever it is, no matter who it is. So, yeah, I, I mean, it's, it's, hard, it's hard to watch. Um, so it's nice. And I know you're basically at the point where you have zero wiggle room, but – fact that you have four days left in the season you still try to preach to these guys that long they keep there's a mathematical chance they keep they keep doing it um they, they have not stopped um even through some tough times they have not stopped so i give them all the credit joe you said that uh, you got to take advantage of some walks mitchell did the exact opposite walked a few didn't let boston take advantage of them and ends his season on a nice note yeah i i thought he pitched his best game of the year um you know, I, th I think it was the fifth. He had three walks, and he kind of lost it. Gary Sanchez made a nice throw. Big big play by Head Headley to keep the tag on. Um, but it's the first night I thought that we saw the curveball that we saw at the end of spring training, the, the curveball that he has. Um, I think it just took a while, you know, for him to get comfortable and, and get going again. So it is a good note. Kevin. Okay. Uh, Gary Sanchez, all the big hits. What about – what about that walk? What are you thinking about that? You know, Tech swings I, I, I've said all along, you know, he's really instinctual and he's really good about making adjustments. And Kimbrell threw a slider to Guardian. He goes, what was that, a changeup? I said, no, that's a slider. He goes, 88? And I said, yes, it is. And, it, and the bottom fell out of it. And he goes up and takes the first swing. The bottom falls out of it. And then, you know, he's able to make that adjustment. He's seen it, and he can make that adjustment. And uh, that's why he's been so successful.